Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Welcome to your old subs, welcome to your new subs, if you're not subbed, get down here and click sub down there. I'm not sure which side it is, but anyway, do me a favour, uh, go click sub. So today I am upgrading a load of parts on my bike. I am putting in a new bottom bracket, I'm putting on this GRX crank set, I am installing and syncing my power meter and putting on a new set of discs. So I spoke about this a while ago. Um, I'm supported by Shimano, which is awesome. So they've sent over this nice new crank set for me to put on because my bike does have GRX on it already and the only thing missing was the crank set. So I've also been talking to the awesome guys and girls at uh, Inpeak. They offered to put a power meter on my crank and you know, who's gonna say no to that, right? I will go more into this like throughout this video and probably when I actually go out for a ride with it. But essentially you send them your crank arm and they will attach a power meter to it. So I'm not sure how they, do it, it's by some wizardry that I'll show you. Mega, right? So you need to check you've got the right clearance on your frame, obviously, because it does add a little bit. But I mean, this adds 12 grams. So essentially you're getting a power meter that adds 12 grams to your bike, compared to my uh, power tap pedals that weigh substantially more. I think they're like half a kilo. It is only a left power meter only, but for me, like, I don't really feel like I need the right power, because when I use my power tap pedals, for example, I can see my balance and it's pretty much like 49, 51 or 50, 50. So that's like more than enough. And I think most people would pedal like pretty evenly. Having two is great, don't get me wrong, but one is definitely more than enough for what I'm gonna do. Right, so the cost, the, the price range is between like 260 euros and 360. I will put links to Inpeak down below. So I'll put their like uh, website and their Instagram, etc., etc., etc. Um, They're really quick with the turnaround. I sent it out to them and then literally within like, I think it was like two days of them receiving it, they had the power meter installed and it was zooming its way back to me. I think it was Shane Miller did a, uh, a video on Inpeak and um, it was when they first released it and, and he's been like, he's done a few, you know, and um, they've basically done, been working really hard to fine tune it and they've been doing firmware updates and everything and, and I think it's a pretty bang on like power meter. I just like having power and it's accurate, it's nice and I can't wait to try it. When I didn't think I could pimp my gravel bike anymore, a bunch of new stuff turns up. God, I'm like always like, look at my new stuff. Um, <laughs> but, you know, like, yeah, it's rad, right? I'm stoked. I work hard on this channel. And when people are like, we'll send you a power meter. And I've, I've mentioned that I want one. I'm not gonna turn around and be like, no. And I will give you guys an honest review of what I think of it because, well, you know I will, you know, I'm not gonna beat about the bush, you know? So I'm really keen to try it out, see how easy it syncs with my Wahoo, etc. And uh, yeah, I suppose enough nattering. Let's start putting some bits in. So the first thing is, bottom bracket. Right, it's a bit of grease, never go wrong. Um, it's pretty simple, like for anyone that's never installed a bottom bracket before. I kind of normally just show everything in like fast motion, so I suppose I should probably like talk you through it a bit. Essentially, all you do is like slap a little bit of grease on your bottom bracket shell. They all have different size outers, so you'll need the right tool to screw it in, and they've always got like left and right written on them. And you literally just screw it in. So Shimano, you need like this tool. So you use like a normal bottom bracket tool, and then you have this like extra ring, and that just pops in. So it makes it small enough to fit on. Yeah. And like all these installs on bikes, like it can be quite daunting, but like if you've got the right tools, it like makes a massive difference to actually, well, to the work you're doing on your bike. Yeah, so this toolkit, it's quite an expensive one, it's by um, Feedback Sports, but like the money you'll save on like bike shops, you know, and I'm all for supporting local bike shops, but like let's be honest, you can end up spending quite a lot of money on stuff, and realistically, you could buy a bottom bracket tool for the same price as getting your bottom bracket installed and then you can do it yourself forever. So I think it's worth investing in tools. So, so that's all done. Crank set, literally, give it a little tap, big tap. <laughs> I mean, you can use a rubber mallet, you know? And then um, obviously put your crank arm on straight on the other side. Then this little bit here screws in the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my bike around so you guys can actually see, because I only show it from one side, but I might as well show you the entire thing. So essentially you get this tiny little bit here and um, it's just a plastic end cap and there's a little tool that looks like that. I don't know, can you see that? And that just kind of slots in. And this is literally what you use to tighten your crank on. So this pulls it all in tight. 
and gets, uh, gets rid of the play. And then you have these two bolts, like one here and one there. And they're what you tighten to, um, to just keep the cramp arms, to keep the cramp arms, to keep the crank arms in place. Cool, you're so close. I must admit, I love how it matches the front. It looks so sick, right? Woo! That's not long, is it, for a bottom bracket install? I mean, you know, new crank, bottom bracket on. Uh, it's also a 42, and I normally run a 42. A little bit of an easier gearing, getting up hills. Nice! So I'm gonna take my wheels off, and my discs are centre lock. You've used a bottom bracket tool or a cassette tool, and it just takes off the disc. I'll show you, it's so quick. Right here, you just undo this. Right, I'm trying to film this with one hand. Oh, there you go. That comes off. Disc is there. If you can see that, and that literally just goes. Plop. Let me get your end cap. Let's get your uh, cassette tool and tighten it up, and it's done. It's so easy, right? And that's it. And these are really good if you're traveling. See, if you want to take your discs off and you're worried about them getting bent, it takes two seconds, you know. Oh, I can't wait to ride it. Power meter. Excuse the dirty wheels. New discs. Me. Looks sick. Right, so I'm taking a seat for this. Hopefully, I shouldn't need to be seated for too long because it'll be really quick and hassle free, right? So, Wahoo, power meter on, add sensor, hold next to sensor, hold it next to it so you guys can see. Eek. Oh, save power. Is that right? It's got the same number. And 37298. Save. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That was literally, that was, that was first take. Like, you know. I don't know, by doing this like live, live, you know, I'm recording it. But um, that's like, you know, I, I don't want to like redo this. I've literally added the sensor first time. It is that easy. And wow, that's just really rad. You know, it tells you the signal. Um, yeah, stoked. So massive thanks to, to MP. Massive thanks to Shimano for the crank. Massive thanks to you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this install. You know, like you don't have to be scared of like bike maintenance and, and installing new stuff. Like, like installing power meters and bottom brackets and cranks can seem really intimidating. I needed a bottom bracket tool, um, an Allen key and a cassette tool. That was, I think that's all I used today and that's all you need like to get out an old bottom bracket you know I mean if you've got the older style ones where you need to use a crank puller you, you do need more tools but like nowadays a lot of times you can just use an Allen key and like just by undoing that bolt it will pull the crank off. My old bottom bracket I had on there right I didn't have the tool for it so I actually just used a pair of mole grips and if you don't mind I mean I'm not saying you need to do this or you should do this but like, I'm taking out an old bottom bracket, you know, I'm like, so I just clamp the shells and I, I undo that and I don't think it's going to do anything to the frame. It shouldn't do, right? <laughs> the other one went in fine, so fingers crossed. So, I'm not recommending using a set of mole grips to put in a new bottom bracket, but that's why I used to take out my old one. Bit of transparency for you, and you know I like transparency on this channel. But thanks for tuning in again. Uh, stay tuned for my next video where I'll actually take this thing for a ride and check out some power. I can't wait to see kind of just what power I put out on climbs and stuff when I'm on gravel because sometimes it feels like I'm riding a lot harder than I am on my road bike. Um, maybe it's just the terrain or the, you know, like me being a wuss on that particular day. But yeah. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in again. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, next time I'll see you, I'll be out on this bike with power. Woohoo! Bye.